we have the forearm, the wrist, and the hand. Forearm, wrist, and the hand. The forearm com is composed of the ulna and the radius. The wrist is composed of this region between my hands right here. A series of eight small bones. They all have their own names, but all you're responsible to know is that they are the carpal bones. Carpal are the wrist bones. Then we get down to the hand. The hand has the bones that are in the palm. These are the metacarpals. They are numbered from the thumb side. One metacarpal number one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and when we get down to the fingers, let me cover the metacarpals. The fingers um, are composed of uh, phalanges. Here's a phalange, here's a phalange. One, two, three. These are all phalanges, and they all have their own specific name. This is a proximal phalange, this is a distal phalange. All you have to know is that they are the phalanges. Here is an articulated foot. We have the tibia, we have the fibula, medial malleolus, lateral malleolus, and then we have the uh, tarsal bones. I am covering trying to cover everything but the tarsal bones. The tarsal bones are the ankle bones. And they all have their own names, but you only need to uh, recognize them as tarsal bones. So these are all tarsal bones in here. Then we come down here to the metatarsals. These are the bones that are uh, found in the foot. Um, we have, they are numbered one, two, three, four, five from the great toe. This guy had a lot of arthritis here. But here's the great toe and these bones in the digits of the toes um, are the phalanges. One last bone up here at the top of the tibia, we have um, the patella, which is the knee bone. And that does it for the appendicular skeleton.